guys, Tim here. Today we're going to do an unboxing of this Fellows Power Shred M6C. Uh, funny enough, I happen to need a light use, and we're apparently in the flight path again tonight, a light use uh, shredder just, you know, to clean up some stuff in the files. I don't need anything, you know, I don't need like a, a confetti shredder or a powder shredder. You know, this is just going to be for, you know, the random bills and stuff that I just don't feel comfortable, you know, letting identity thieves dig through my trash for. And it also happens to be a good stand-in for, you know, kind of an ITX, MATX uh, case box. So I thought I'd see how my my setup does here on uh, for case unboxings. I have a feeling I'm going to, at the minimum, bump the camera a few times and... Uh, Probably stick my big old fat noggin in your way. I think I'm gonna have to figure out uh, a little bit different angle to do cases. Um, we'll see. Apparently it's a busy night at SeaTac tonight. It's one of those things weather-wise that sometimes they just fly right over your house. I guess everybody that lives in a big city you know, probably has the same problem. So you can do six sheets at a time or a credit card. Cuts them into approximately 328 particles per sheet. Up to four minutes of continuous runtime, but I wouldn't press it. Um, it's one thing about shredders, you can burn them out pretty easily. So, you know, shred slowly, shred over time. Don't, you know, wait for six months and then try to shred all your documents at once. It has powerful performance, and it's for light use, but it still can do six sheets, which is kind of one of the reasons why I grabbed it. Uh, this one came from Target. You can get them, you know, anywhere, Amazon or whatever. Uh, they're built to last, kind of the same stuff, but it can do, so six sheets, cross-cut, one-year warranty, uh, three-year cutter warranty. The waste bin is 3.5 gallons. It safely shreds cards or paper clips, which is something you do want to check. You should never put the paper clip through if you can help it. But you also don't want to destroy your shredder if you accidentally do. And it can run up to four minutes. It is 12 and a half inches by 15 and a quarter inches by three and a third. Sorry, no metric, you not US people, AKA the rest of the world. So inside the box we have a questions or concerns. Thank you for buying. Please visit us online at fellows.com. And I'm 100% sure I opened the wrong end. I usually like to try to open the cases from the bottom so that oh, this might actually work out. Is the plastic on backwards? Usually cases the plastics on from the top to the bottom, not the bottom to the top. So that's usually why I open those that direction. Ooh, it's definitely sturdy. Man, that's beefy, let me tell you. So, this wasn't a really cheap shredder, but at the same time, it wasn't super expensive. Um, you know, you can pay up to several hundred dollars for shredders. This one was about $50 at Target uh, at the f as of the time of filming this video. So in the box, I have Fellows Quality Guarantee. And then the registration card and the user manual. So the waste basket on this one I like just because it looks a little nicer. Um, I kind of like that mesh look. And it's actually very sturdy. Uh, it has a good quality bottom on it. And you have 
a off position, a reverse position if you get something jammed, and a forward position. Um, one thing about this one is it doesn't, I may need to read the instructions again, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a lock, a blade lock. Um, I do have little kids, but I'm going to put this up where they won't get near it in a locked basement. So even if they are down there, they won't be able to get near it. So for questions and concerns, please call or contact fellows. That's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty, pretty basic. You have some venting and uh, I like the look of this one. I, you know, if you, you ever see me do case reviews, you know, I tend to go for the, the simple black. Uh, this one looks good. You're going to be able to tell, you know, when you need to empty the basket, which, you know, is important because if you start getting it up too full, you're going to jam it and that's when you're going to, you know, kill the motor or just cause yourself a lot of grief. Um, you know, even though it's six pages, I'd probably always stick to three or four. Go slow. Don't do too many pages at a time. And it'll last you a lot longer. Um, patience is going to pay off here. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV in maybe the oddest unboxing we've had yet. But technically still technology, hence the Timmy Tech TV. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.